Well, the bail project is suing the state of Indiana, arguing a new state law is infringing on that group's constitutional rights. The bail project and lawyers with the ACLU say that House Enrolled Act 1300, which goes into effect July 1st, specifically targets the bail project. The law dictates all charitable bail organizations determining who they can pay bail for and requires state licensing to operate. The bail project says it's the only group in the state paying cash bail on a regular basis. ACLU lawyers say this law keeps the project from properly doing its job, and there's a clause issue that also makes the law unconstitutional. You have the law saying to the bail project, you cannot pay for these type of persons accused of offenses for whom a court has granted bail, even though bail bond agents or, as, as Twyla said, friends, family, churches, strangers perfect strangers uh, can decide to pay. Well, we also talked to the Attorney General's office who will be representing the state and the statute, A.G. Todd Rokita, says the arguments are connected to the notion that money is speech and says the bail project's rights are not violated. This is taking money and injecting it into the criminal justice system uh, to prove a point, perhaps, but also to uh, potentially impede on other people's rights, namely their safety, um, and to cause a disincentive where there used to be an incentive for a person to return to face justice. You now could possibly be creating a disincentive. So it goes way beyond, in our opinion, the right of free speech. The bail project says that they have a 95% return to court rate for their clients. Now, we've not independently confirmed that. You can see, though, more of CBS4's investigations into the bail project on our website, cbs4indy.com.